I heard about it from the other states, and I was a little jealous of them, and I wanted to come to Tennessee, so I'm really happy it's here. So I think it's super crazy to like finally have our own team, and it's like only girls, and like we already like so many people are talking about coming to the games. I think that's just so fun that we have like our own football team. Music City is buzzing over the Titans' huge announcement yesterday. We're talking about their new partnership with Williamson County to start a girls' flag football league. Nine Williamson County high schools will participate in what will be a spring sport. Teams will play each other once throughout a six-week, eight-game season. Then they'll square off in a league championship that will all be played at Nissan Stadium in May. I am so jealous. I think it's an awesome sport. I've appealed to the TWSAA for quite a few years to try to make it happen, and thank goodness the Titans got involved and did this pilot program for Williamson County. State high school girls flag football. It's just the fastest growing sport. I play and travel all over the country playing, and I see the women's game, and the talent is crazy. We had to find the right fit for this to take off and that was real important. We couldn't just go anywhere and try to pilot a program and that kind of thing. You know, for us, it had to be the right fit and to have the right fit, you've got to have the support from the top down, you know, from, from the people that are on the fields and in the school buildings to the administration. We've had a longstanding partnership with WCS, you know, and have worked on several things with them in the past. And this was just a great fit, we thought, uh, to, hey, let's go pilot this program. You know, it's a blast. Coaching these girls is, is a great time, and it gives you an opportunity to uh, get back to your coaching roots, if you will, and, you know, maybe forget about some of the, the stuff that we deal with on a regular basis and get a chance to coach these girls and, and learn from them and, and maybe bring something back to your Friday night team uh, in a new way of putting things. Here we got it. All right, let's go. I think at the beginning of anything, it's all about exposure when you're really trying to grow the sport. So really highlighting the athletes and the coaches that are out there making this happen week in and week out. But in order for it to be sustainable and long-term, you're gonna have to grow even more from the grassroots up, which is something I know that the Tennessee Titans are so passionate about doing. Working on the high school game, get that to a nice position, and then start bringing in middle schoolers, have leagues for them, because once those kids start playing, then they're gonna to wanna to play in high school, then they're gonna to wanna to play in college, and it's inevitable that this snowball effect will keep going, because flag football is so much fun, and once you play, I guarantee that you'll fall in love with it. All the schools kind of jumping in head first and, and being excited about it, and the number of girls that have shown interest across the county. I think once we start playing games and maybe footage gets out there and word gets out there, I think other counties will definitely follow suit. Um, it's just a fun sport. And I think a lot of girls, especially girls that haven't played sports before, can jump in and figure it out and take on something new. And I think that's exciting. It's the wake up Sunday morning, you're gonna go to church. And then instead of sitting on the couch watching Sunday football, you're gonna be on the field playing Sunday football. And I feel like that's gonna Sundays is going to be the highlight of my weekend now because I can just go out there Sunday afternoon and play football. Um, if I mess up, I mess up. I'm going to learn from my mistakes, but I'm going to be so excited about it. Lads on three, one, two, three, lads!